So, I'm just going to show you spine curls because we do these a lot in class and they're really nice on your lower back and your spine. So have your head in neutral, you're in a relaxation position, knees and ankles are hip width apart, try and switch off those hip flexors, those cords at the front there, try and relax through there. Spine's in neutral so you've got a little gap under your lower, lower back, so you're going to try and maintain that in some of the exercises, but in this one you're going to lose it. So, in neutral, take a breath in to prepare, using your hands as support. As you exhale, tuck your tail under so your lower back comes into the floor, and then start to lift your pelvis off the floor. Let's go from the beginning again. Back into neutral. So, from here, in neutral, Take a breath in, we'll just start with some pelvic tuck. So as you exhale, you're just going to tuck your pelvis under so your lower back presses into the floor. And then inhale, come back to neutral. So just pelvic tucks to start with. Exhaling to tuck under, inhaling to come back. Exhaling, tuck under, and inhaling to come back. So with a spine curl, we're just increasing that movement. Exhale, tuck your pelvis under, then start to lift your pelvis up and off the mat. And the higher you go, you lift the spinal vertebra at a time. You want to come up to your mid thoracic region, so roughly where your bra strap would be if you had one, or slightly higher, but not onto your shoulders and certainly not onto your neck. At the top, take a breath in. And then as you exhale, lower your spine down from the breastbone, so from the ribs, sink down through the breastbone first. Then through your rib cage at the bottom, lower back comes into the floor, land your pelvis and then come back to neutral. Breathe in, exhale, tuck the pelvis under, start to wheel your spine up and off the mat. Breathe in when you get to the top and exhale to lower your spine back down. One more, breathing in to prepare. Exhale, tuck under and lift. Inhale at the top, exhale, lower your spine back down, and inhale to come back to neutral. We're going to add the arms on the next one. So exhale, tuck your pelvis under, wheel your spine up. When you get to the top, take a breath in, and as you do so, really stand into your legs. Take your arms up and overhead. And as you exhale, keeping your arms there, lower your spine back down to the mat. When you get to neutral, inhale, take your arms back down to the floor. Exhale, tuck under, lift. Inhale at the top, take your arms up and overhead. And exhale, come down to the floor. Try and keep your feet in neutral. Try not to lift your toes. Keep your feet fairly relaxed. If you want to get some extra traction through your spine when you get to the top, you want to reach your knees away from you, which means bringing your heels towards you. So that really opens the spaces in your vertebra, but it can get a bit crampy in the hamstrings for some people. So if you're one of those people that gets hamstring cramps in this position, you want to push your heels away from you to take that more into your glutes and less into your hamstrings. So choose your poison really, if you want to increase the stretch in your spine, reach your knees away, bring your heels in. If you get crampy in your hamstrings, press your feet away. Take a breath in at the top and exhale to lower your spine back down to the mat.